Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Hadrian here. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. If you guys are brand new to the channel, welcome. We are happy to have you. Let me know down in the comments below if you're new and say hi. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I am here today with another episode of Handbag Rehab. Now I'm here today with a bag that is actually a pretty um, common bag. A lot of people have this bag. It is a really, really great. It's lightweight holds a lot, it's at a great price point, and they come in such fun colors. And that bag is the Longchamp Le Pliage Tote. This is the medium size, in like a, kind of like a teal color. Now, oh, this bag is so nice. I got it at their store for, I wanna say around five, six, seven dollars, something like that. And it is in really, really good condition. There's just a little stainage on the back. We'll probably be able to get that hopefully out with some baby wipes. And then the only thing that is um, really wrong with the bag, if you can see here in these corners, they are um, starting to wear down a little bit. Now this is on all four corners of the bag. The top layer of um, fabric has worn through down to the lining. You can see that apparent in all four corners. And this is something that happens to almost every single Le Pliage tote, in, at least in the fabric variety. Because um, the sides are so pointy and they tend to rub the hardest on your clothing or other things while you're walking. So this happens to a lot of these bags. So we're gonna attempt a repair for this. Now I have some tips too for um, authenticating Le Pliage totes because I see a lot of long chomps in the stores and um, a lot of them are fake. Now, a common misconception is that all of long chomps are made in France. That is actually no longer true. Back in the day, they were all made in France, but uh, Longchamp has started um, having their bags made in China. And you can see that here inside. This is what the tags look like when the bags are made in China, just like that. The ones that are made in France, I believe, are black. And there's a little bit of difference between the bags that are made in France and the ones that are made in China. Like, they like, feel a little bit different in the texture or the feel of the fabric and the feel of the leather, but the leather is always soft, always supple, and there's just certain things to look at, like the inside of the button flap right here, the texture of the leather, it's always kind of like in a diamond there's always kind of like a diamond pattern on it and one of like the easiest things to look at is the stitching on this on the little end tab the top is always cream and the bottom is always brown so just like quick easy tips to look for when um, you find Le Pliage Totes at the Goodwill those are like quick easy authenticating tips for them so, with that being said, today we're going to attempt to repair this bag using my tried and true, my trusty Angelus brand acrylic leather paints. Now I have a little set right here that I purchased on Amazon. This is directly through Angelus and they sell on Amazon and I recommend purchasing directly through them. You can purchase these items at um, like shoe repairs and all that, but I have found that when you are buying those items, sometimes they're old and they have their, um, the old formulations that don't work as well and you have to work a little bit harder to use them, especially with the dyes. I never rec I recommend always buying directly through Angelus online through Amazon for those dyes because they will always send you the brand new formulation. Every time I've purchased anywhere else, it's always an old formulation that doesn't get as good of a coverage, good of a color, and you're going to have to do more layers of uh, dye. So, there's that. Here is the dye, or the dye, the leather paint comes in a set of 12. And these dyes, are these, I keep saying dyes. These paints are really easy to mix together and they apply beautifully. Um, 
what was I gonna say? I'm gonna have all the links for these uh, down below in the description box. So if you guys are interested in purchasing the set, I think it's a really good value. It's like thirty dollars, I believe, for the twelve, and a bottle of dye is usually around six. So I think you're getting kind of a good deal if you wanted, if you were interested in painting or um, doing maybe a custom color on your bag or trying to custom match. I suggest purchasing this set. It's really great. And yeah, so I'll have all the links below to all my favorite leather repair products such as the paints, the dyes, and my most favorite uh, Cadillac boot and shoe care conditioner. It is amazing. Um, you wouldn't really use it on this. You can always, you can use it on the leather though, because leather always needs conditioning, but this, we're just gonna be using our dye, or our dye, our, not our dye, our acrylic leather paint. And these are perfect, because you can use them not only on leather, you can use them on fabric, so you can use them on shoes, you can use them on the lip pliage tool, you can use them on clothing. The acrylic paint is very flexible, and it doesn't flake, and it doesn't crack. So that's why this paint is really amazing. Um, I've only ever used Angelus. It's when I first started doing my research on using acrylic paints, this is the only one that's ever come up. And I have been with Angelus forever. So Angelus products all the way as far as dye and paint is concerned. So with that, let's get started and dive into repairing this bag. Okay guys, so here we are, we're looking at the bag. Now, for um, what we're gonna be using today to do this handbag rehab are just a couple things. I'm just gonna use some wipes. We're gonna see if we can get that stain off on the back. We have our acrylic paints. Um, I'm probably only gonna be using these three colors. Blue, turquoise, and white. Just gonna set my paints over here. I'm gonna be using a paintbrush and then just uh, a little paper plate to mix our colors on. So again, I'm gonna have all the links to all these products down below in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing any of them. And so that stain on the back is right here. I'm gonna see if we can use just these wipes to get them out. These are just regular wipes. I believe these were purchased from Costco and let's try this out and see if we can get out these stains. We might not be totally sure until it completely dries so we'll check how clean it looks at the very end once we're done painting. I don't know, it looks pretty promising. Um, looks like the stain is coming out. I don't see it there any longer. Did I get everything? Looks like I got everything, so there's that. We'll check that out at the very end though once we're dry. So I'm just gonna put this right here. And I'm just gonna do, we're not even, we're gonna barely need any paint at all, you guys. So I'm just gonna mix these two up. I always mix them up a little bit just to make sure that the, um, that everything is nice and mixed inside for a smooth and even consistency. And I find that sometimes if you don't mix them, the paint is a little thin. So I always find that just mixing them up a little bit really quick before you start using them when they've been sitting stagnant for a while is the best way. So I'm just gonna do this little dab like that. And another one of the blue. I'm probably using way too much paint, but this is just so that you guys can see how I try to match the color. And then we're just gonna use a little white which I didn't mix, but that's fine. And I always start with like the main color, and the main color seems to be the turquoise. So we're gonna, that's, I'm gonna use that. I'm just gonna bring in small amounts into here. And you don't have to be super, um, 
You don't have to match it exactly just because it's just going to be the corners and we're just really trying to cover up that white. And what's great about the acrylic paint is that it's going to dry flexible and it's going to create a barrier in that corner right there so there's not going to, hopefully there's not going to be any further um, wear. And that actually looks pretty close to the color. I don't know if you guys, wait, let me see. Can you guys see that? It's actually pretty close. Maybe just add a little bit more blue. Yeah, that's the ticket. I think we're pretty much there. I think we may be a little dark. I'm gonna add a little white. How does that look? I feel like on camera it looks really green still. Add a little bit more blue. Okay, I'm just gonna add all blue. I think, it... I think that's pretty close. Perhaps a little bit more blue. This is the trickiest part just trying to get the color matching done. And this paint does dry fairly quickly, so you're gonna have to try and work pretty fast. There we go, I think we got the right color now. Yes, that's perfect. So with that being done, we're just going to apply What I like about this brush, it kind of has like a pointy end, so you can kind of use that. It's still a little bit blue, huh? Maybe we'll add a little turquoise. There's that, then we'll do this corner. Let me try and zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see how this is happening. I hope that's better for you guys. Okay, so see how it's white right there? We're just trying to color that in. So right here, see where it's white? We're just gonna try and color that in and we're gonna try and get some paint on the fibers in the corner like that are sticking up. And that way it'll prevent it from unraveling further. And I'm just using the pointy end of the paintbrush to color that in. I think that's a pretty good match, don't you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna do that and then this corner right here. Now again, like I said, this paint dries very quick, so once you apply, um, it should be pretty much dried at the touch within a few minutes, so I wouldn't suggest using it for up to 24 to 48 hours and just let it sit and dry nicely. And I think these corners look way better than like the white, because like the white just like sticks out like a sore thumb. And this paint does have a tendency to dry a little bit lighter than when you apply it so when you make your color I always make it like just a tad darker and then once it dries it does get it does get lighter usually on leathers at least um, I haven't really tried this on trying to color match fabric so we'll see how this dries but again as long as it's kind of matching it's fine and you can always just go over it later oh you guys didn't even see that happening you guys can always go over it again later once it's fully dry and just do like another light layer and then that way you can match 
the color even better, but I think this is looking pretty good. Going over a little bit more with some more paint. And there we go. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm like off the screen. Okay, so that's pretty much all you guys have to do for this little fix on the bag. We're just gonna wait for it to dry, but it does look exponentially better than it did with the white poking through. And now that it has like kind of like a little bit of a protectant layer with that acrylic paint, um, it'll hopefully slow down the unraveling process and protect those corners a little bit more than they would be if you just let them um, open like that. And if we look at that stain, it is all gone and all we used were those baby wipes. So those baby wipes definitely did do the trick and the stain is all gone. And now just waiting a couple of minutes for it to dry completely and then again wait 24 to 48 hours to start using the bag. That way the paint has enough time to dry completely and fully and then you'll be ready to use your tote. So with that being said, Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm so glad that we were able to kind of pretty much fix up this bag and get it looking really pretty again. Oh, I didn't even notice there's this little stain on the bottom. See if you can get it out with a baby wipe and it looks like it is coming right out. And baby wipes are also perfect for cleaning the interior of bags, I find as well. They're a lot less drying than other things. And there you go, that little white spot came right out. Another stain right here. Let's see if it was coming out. The lip pliage for the um, the long shop, like the fabrics, are very stain resistant and they're pretty easy to clean just with a wipe just like this. So just going over it every so often, trying to get out those dirty marks will keep your bag looking nice and fresh. And Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for spending some time out of your day with me to work on this bag. I think it came out fantastic. And hopefully if you guys have a Longchamp bag like this, you'll be able to repair it if you guys have that same problem. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys ever have any questions about repairs for bags, buying bags, selling bags, or anything, thrifting wise, anything. Let me know down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. I love starting conversations with all of you. And you guys are definitely super, super amazing. And if you guys um, are seeing or watching this video and it is still between the days of September, what is the month right now? Uh, September 12th through September um, 18, my 2K subscriber contest giveaway is still going on. So definitely. Um, I'll have a link right up here for you guys, if you are enough, it's going to be right here. <laughs> it's going to be right there, and I'll have a link down below as well in the description box. If you guys would like to enter the giveaway, I'm going to be pulling um, two winners from um, that enter, and you guys are going to be winning two awesome goodie bags full of awesome stuff. As a little thank you for you guys um, being so awesome and supporting the channel and being so like I don't know I can't even I can't even put it to words how awesome you guys are and I keep saying awesome over and over I feel like it's the only word in my vocabulary at the moment so thank you guys again so so much for watching if you would like to and haven't done so already please subscribe you'll be updated every time I post a new video and I do post videos every single day and again if you're between those two dates definitely um, enter the contest because who knows you could be the winner of the two goodie bags and thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!
All right, you guys, so here is the bag. It is looking fabulous, fantastic. I am loving it. I stuffed it a little bit for effect, but those corners are looking pretty good. Check that out. Bam. And um, these lip flash totes, they are fabric, and once fabric starts to wear and it has actually torn like these corners, there's really no way to repair it at all that's going to give it like a permanent fix. That is just the nature of the bag. They are going to do that. And once it already happens, it's very hard to stop. Though, with um, the coating of the acrylic paint, you are adding like a little added extra protection. You're adding a little layer of protection on those corners so you can slow down the wearing process. And you don't have like that bright pop of white peeking through from the underlining of the bag. And yeah, and coating like those like the corners, like the frayed edges with the um, with the paint, it kind of helps them not fray further and it kind of slows down that process. You're just gonna have to keep checking them out and um, making sure that they aren't fraying anymore. And then you can just keep adding more and more paint, and that should help protect your corners for a little for probably a long time. So the acrylic paint is really really great. It's, it's flexible. It, it does not crack and you can use it and it's safe to use on leather, fabric, and yeah, leather and fabric, what else would you be? Oh, and plastic, so it's awesome and really great. Um, if you guys do have any more questions, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to help you guys out. It doesn't have to be about the pliage tote, it could be about any handbag, shoe, wallet repair, um, or about thrifting in general or buying and selling online if you guys have any, any questions about that. And yeah, so with that being said, my hair looks like a mess, so that means it's probably pretty much time to go so I can go look at the mirror and fix it. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, thank you for spending some time out of your day with me. And if you guys would like to and haven't done so already, please subscribe to so be updated every time I post a new video. And I do post videos daily. So thank you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. All right, love you, bye. Alright you guys, it is a little bit later, about, um, oh god, that is too close. <sighs> Alright guys, it is about an hour later and my hair is still looking pretty voluminous, I must say. Um, I'm still really, really digging, loving this product. Um, it does, but exactly what it says it does, <laughs> it gives you that